My name is Janice Holmes, and I'm a historian, lecturer, and researcher with The Open University. Today I'm here in the Public Record Office of Northern Ireland to show you some of the online applications that you can use to help you with your local and family history research that covers the present day Northern Ireland. In this video, we are going to show you how to use Prony's Historical Map Viewer, a free online application that lets you search and view digitized copies of Ordnance Survey maps dating from 1833 to 1986 and covering the six counties of present-day Northern Ireland. Historical Map Viewer is based on the main series of maps produced by the Ordnance Survey, the six-inch or county maps. Drawn on a scale of six inches to one mile, these maps provide a fairly detailed or large-scale view of the landscape. Alongside the basic features of these six-inch OS maps, Historical Map Viewer has added additional data from other maps. These include county, parish, and townland boundaries, and what are called points of interest, sites and buildings that relate to the themes of religion, health, education, and law. Historical Map Viewer has also included locations for over 16,000 historic sites and monuments taken from the Northern Ireland Sites and Monuments record. Thus, as well as identifying a particular place in the landscape, you can also see where local churches, schools, and ancient monuments are located. Janet Hancock from Prony is going to demonstrate Historical Maps Viewer and show you how some of its features work. Hello, my name is Janet Hancock. I work here at the Public Record Office of Northern Ireland, or Prony, and today I'm going to be giving you a practical demonstration of Prony's Historical Maps Viewer. Prony's Historical Maps Viewer can be accessed via the Prony website. Here you'll find information about historical maps and mapping and the content of the application. Click the search link and then the green search tab. You'll be asked to accept the terms and conditions and then you can begin. Zoom in and out using the plus and minus buttons in the top left hand corner. The home button will return you to an overview of the six counties of present day Northern Ireland at any time. The map sphere displays more detail as you zoom in. County boundaries are highlighted in navy blue, parish boundaries are purple, and townland boundaries are red. You will also see icons representing different points of interest. For example, the cross represents religious sites, the mortarboard schools, and the blue dot represents the Northern Ireland Sites and Monuments record. If you're not sure what the colours and symbols mean, click the legend icon to get a quick reminder at any time. Boundaries and points of interest automatically display. However, you can switch them off using the layer list. You can also select or deselect specific groups of points of interest, for example, viewing religious sites only. The information box describes the point of interest and also the date of the map from which it was captured. You should remember that the point of interest may not be taken from the map that you're currently viewing. To identify a place, you can pan to the area using your mouse. Click on the spot you're interested in to bring up a text box showing the townland name and highlighting the townland boundary in turquoise. You may not be able to see the full townland boundary. You can click the Zoom To link to pan out to the townland perimeter. Click the arrow at the top right of the text box to display the parish name, in this example Drumbo, and highlight the parish boundary. You can search for a place by townland, parish or town. Watch out for places with the same name. For example, there are eight townlands called Lisbane. You can use the parish name in brackets to help you identify the correct one. You can also search using a contemporary address. Make sure you enter a full address. For example, here I'm entering 2 Titanic Boulevard, which will return Prony's location. Inputting partial entries, such as Titanic Boulevard only, will not return any search results. Once you've found the right location, you can use different maps to explore further. There are four contemporary base maps. Use the base map icon to change view. To view an historical map, select one of the editions displayed in the layer list. For example, the first edition 6-inch county series will display the earliest Ordnance Survey map. Historical maps are layered over the base map in ascending order. To compare an historical map with a contemporary base map, use the transparency function by clicking the arrow to the right of the layer. Use the icon to adjust the level of transparency until you can see both maps. You can also compare maps using the slider function. 
Click the slider icon, then the arrow to reveal a drop down menu. The list reflects any maps currently selected from within the layer list. This will allow you to compare a map with the edition directly below, in this case comparing the third edition with the first, or with the base map if no other historical layers are selected. If you want more specific information on the dating of maps, click on the survey date icon. Click on get survey, then click on the location you're researching. A red X should appear. Don't worry if the screen appears to turn black. Pan out and you will see that this reflects the individual map sheets for that specific location, which are slightly different depending on whether you're consulting the 6-inch county mapping series or the more recent Irish grid mapping. You will see the Deproni map reference and a date appear against available editions. You can use these map references to explore more information about each map sheet, for example dates of contouring and levelling, using Prony's electronic catalogue which is also available on the Prony website. You can use the bookmark icon to name and save a search area. This is linked to the computer you're using, so will be remembered when you enter the historical maps viewer at a later date using the same machine or device. Finally, you can access guidance on using the application at any time by clicking the help icon. A version can also be downloaded and printed off as you might find it useful to have a hard copy to hand whilst using the map sphere. I hope you enjoy using Prony's historical map sphere and good luck with your research. For further information about these and other online sources, please go to the Prony website at www.nidirect.gov.uk forward slash Prony.